Season two, episode three, let's go. Crash on Opening day, baby. Woo! My name is Mackenzie Lars Chrisman, uh, but I'm more affectionately known as Mac. Um, <laughs> I was born in Plano, Texas, but uh, I'd say Kalamazoo is home. And I kind of grew up with a passion for coffee. Whenever I took a job at my mom's friend's cafe, um, that lease came with a, uh, an espresso machine that no one knew how to work. And so I knew right off the bat that I was gonna tame that beast, that I was gonna figure out how it worked. And I guess that kind of kickstarted it. And everything else after that has just been um, me being presented with an opportunity to pursue that and then following through. Hey everybody, sorry. You know, it took I think nine months to complete from start to finish. I know that's a long period of time and a lot of people were watching from the very beginning and been part of the story with us but it felt like it was a whirlwind. It took an awful lot to get us here. We had months and months of planning that involved us going to Seattle to visit the Specialty Coffee Association Expo so we could take a look at all the different um, equipment that's on the market to figure out what we want to use in our shop. The actual build-out process took a long time, working with contractors and builders and then getting permits from the cities. There's just so many moving pieces and everything finally just came together and we were just left with this beautiful space and it's like, wow. It's just been really crazy to look back and see all those little itty bitty tiny decisions that we made um, and just see all of it together in one piece and we can just see we can just see the importance of each of those little itty bitty decisions um, and how they all played such a significant role um, in the final product. It's pretty crazy. Happy birthday! Also, real quick. Happy birthday, man. I didn't know we were gonna have golden milk here. Is it the best? Yes. I have a question. What is golden milk? I thought he was going to ask you for the first couple of days. It's, uh, it's like golden raisins. It's Nothing like that at all, except for they're the same color. So it's got turmeric, ginger, pink peppercorn, black peppercorn, lemongrass. It's really good. I'm not, I'm not like Ashley, and I don't talk about this a lot, but it's really good for like gut health. I want Ashley to watch this episode of the YouTube show and know that you just. Back Whatever, I love Ashley. I'm I just saying I story. don't talk about gut health a lot, and She's she does. I, I also eat Monday. fries Ashley for every meal, and she, and she probably doesn't. Really? Yeah. Ashley who? Every meal? Ashley what? <laughs> fries? Yes. Please don't put this in. Lori has terrible hygiene and nutrition. Welcome to Civil House. This is why everyone's over here. It's uh, good to see you. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Ruining my shot of the city. Thank you. Chicago. 
we had 17 days to write, produce, shoot, and edit, and then deliver an internal rebranding piece for a client of ours. You're gonna have to bleep them out. Watch, Dan. See? I'll say it now and you'll blur my mouth now. So we had 17 days to make the whole piece. We had to write all, all of the scenes out. We had to figure out what the actual stories were that we were telling. Uh, we had to scout locations. We had to cast everyone. Uh, we knew we had to travel outside of the Midwest area to get a different feel. So we had to figure out where we were going and then go to that place and film in that time. So after about four days of pre-production, we decided that Matt Bakken and I would jump on a plane to Denver and head out towards the Boulder, Colorado area. And we would shoot a scene, a couple different scenes out there with some friends of ours. On Monday morning, we flew back into Chicago and then filmed a scene that evening. On Tuesday morning, we filmed a scene of a biker downtown as well as in a yoga studio. Then we headed back from Chicago. We stopped at Journeyman Distillery for a creative meeting that we had about their new project. Uh, then Wednesday morning, filmed locally in Kalamazoo. Hey, and then the afternoon, we took a breath and drank a cup of coffee and reset our brains. And then Thursday, we filmed in the morning in Grand Rapids and in the evening in St. Joe. So we packed a whole lot into a whole little time. Here's the good news, Dan. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell everyone behind that screen. We finished the project. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to show any of this footage. Right over here. But it looks, uh, it looks pretty good, you ask me. We don't always do our projects in such a short period of time, but that's one thing that I would say as Rhino is our strength, is the fact that we can jump onto a project, we can sort out the details as we're moving, and make the thing happen. That's what we do, baby, we make it happen. My kind of town, Chicago, is my kind of town. The home of golden linens and cityscapes. It's my kind of town. Chicago! Love that one. That is Frankie Valley's Chicago. When these situations come up, there's a ton of trust that has to be earned in a very short amount of time, especially when you're working with a new client, a new relationship, and trust, uh, for me, is extremely important with earning the right to tell a creative story on behalf of a client. So um, you have this very tight little time frame in which to earn trust, listen intently, and understand the story, understand the vision, uh, understand who the video needs to connect with, who needs to be moved by this emotionally, and things like that. So um, it's always an honor when someone comes at us with a big project with a short time frame, because that means they're they're kind of inherently having to trust us. Um, so the conversation gets really casual really fast. So instead of having several meetings scheduled over the course of weeks, you're basically having a three hour session and exchanging phone numbers and texting each other all throughout the days. And a lot of conversation hinges around Rather than being carefully wording how every little transmission goes, you're more just kind of constantly reaffirming each other that you trust their vision and you're really excited about the project. And, and one of the biggest things I always take away from these, from the work that we do um, is something I learned from shooting weddings way back in the day in that um, if you are a wedding photographer and you're not constantly kind of patting the bride on the back and telling them everything's going okay uh, and that she looks great and that everything's going fine and uh, everything's just wonderful, uh, then you're kind of missing out on half your job because as a photographer, you can either be contributing positively to the situation and providing leadership or you can be providing no leadership. So for us, um, I take that into the process of commercial work to kind of figuratively be patting the client on the back and letting them know that everything's okay, we're tracking really well, and be honest about it. If it isn't tracking well, you'd be straightforward and transparent about that. But um, when it is going okay, you reassure them and let them know. Uh, and then you have to have that trust in your team to deliver on the results and deliver on the um, vision of the project that has been established. So project wrapped up really well. We're gonna make a couple final tweaks and then we're all done. And uh, they said, can't wait for the next go around. So that's always just fun and rewarding as a creative person when you make things uh, that have an impact. That's besides the money and the fame, that's all you want. Just joking, there's no fame. 
we're supposed to be filming a bright to, like, scene the with people taking pictures and the sun behind them to be like in the spring <laughs> and when we scheduled the shoot it looked like that outside yeah and now yeah. so anyway this is like it's internal it does not look like that anymore just wrapped up our interview with Nadal, uh, the owner of Shorma King on Drake, which if you haven't been here, you should. You're missing out on so much. Um, but he's fantastic. The interview went really well. I'm really excited for this piece to be completed um, and just kind of spark this whole vignette series of wonderful people in Kalamazoo. <laughs> So Rhino's turning eight years old next month, and that's really amazing. It's been a wonderful ride. We're going to continue to ride and do all sorts of fun things. Ride the Rhino. That should be our slogan for this year. Ride the Rhino. We just opened up this coffee shop, Civil House, inside the Rhino building. We sectioned off half the space, built a freaking coffee shop out, and it's awesome. We've been getting so much positive feedback, which is really cool because we opened our doors to try to build more creative community and be the hub for that in Kalamazoo. Find a way to connect more with people that don't have big video or photo projects for us, um, but just have a way to connect with a lot of the just younger creatives, young entrepreneurs, just people that love good coffee and love good conversation came in. So um, it's been awesome seeing Civil House do that. We haven't even had our big grand opening. We just kind of had like soft launch and we're open from seven to seven, but we're gonna be kicking off grand opening, cutting a big ribbon with the big scissors real soon. So we're super stoked on that and changing the corner here. Um, and yeah, so I'm pumped. Thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. If you like what Rhino's doing, give us a follow, give us a like, give us a comment, let us know. It makes us feel very good inside. Let's us know that we're doing well. If, we're, if you like what we're doing, let us know. If you don't like what we're doing, as I always say, give us a message, let us know. Tell us what you want to see more of. Um, we'd love to see your beautiful faces at Civil House Coffee. That's why we made it, so we can see you in real life, not just on the computer. So please, please, please come visit us, and please, please, please like and subscribe. We love you. Mwah.